The repair work at Orville Dam has just begun. In a recent report from an independent board of consultants on the Orville Emergency Recovery released this week by the California Department of Water Resources, concluded that a very significant risk would be incurred if the gated spillway is not operational by November 1st, 2017. But it placed little faith in the possibility that it can be done, acknowledging that this is a very demanding schedule. To understand the implications of the report, Ronald Stork said, if the main spillway is not returned to service before the next flood season, we'll face the same dilemma that we faced this season, that every time we use the main spillway, we are at risk of damaging it further, of throwing more material of the foundation into the after bay, potentially tipping off the power release at the Hyatt Powerhouse, Stork said. He also went on to say, I think their perspective is that they would like to have it up and running with a full construction effort running 24 hours a day, sequenced, so individual trucks are not in the way of other trucks, you know, just this sense, he said. The conveyor belt of work aimed at be building a foundation under the broken parts of the main spillway, rebuilding the broken parts of the main spillway, and that's going to take 24 hours a day efforts. No one knows what work that spillway will need. We do not know what shape the rest of the spillway is up closer to the top of the dam. Not only that, asbestos has been found. A very dangerous form of asbestos has been found in the rocks that are in the spillway. Now, this is important because, first and foremost, many of the men who were working on the debris removal in the after pool will have been subjugated to exposure to asbestos. This will have long-term health effects for them. Not only that, any construction worker working at this site needs to be asbestos certified and the construction company needs to be a registered and certified construction company certified to handle asbestos debris removal in the state of California. Any other construction company working there, any other workers there need to have <clears throat> these approvals. This will run the cost of repairing the spillways at Orville Down up astronomically. The report from the Independent Board of Consultants did not even mention the word asbestos. Everyone knows who's ever torn down a building or worked on a property with asbestos knows that it significantly raises the cost for any kind of construction work where asbestos is present. I had a house one time where I had to remove a house that had no asbestos in it, but I couldn't prove it because the house had caught on fire. So I had to have the site removed as if asbestos was present, setting up air monitoring, having water sprinklers to sprinkle the property down. When it was all over, there was no asbestos in the structure. However, it took four times as long to remove the material, and it also cost three times more than if I had just brought in a loader and scooped up the material and done the job quickly. So everyone that knows in construction that when you have asbestos, it significantly and adversely affects the price of getting a job done and the timing. Therefore, I doubt that the spillway repairs can be made before November 1st. It's likely going to take many years. And if their current cost estimates are half a billion dollars, I would say you might want to consider two or three billion dollars for the repair costs at Orville Dam. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.